Um, there is definitely something glowing in the back of the train. Uh, oh my goodness, here it goes. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. Are those gonna explode? Oh, they're exploding. So folks, it's been a while since we played this game, but there's been a major update. It's now actually called a simulator, which honestly, this was one of my favorite train games to play in VR. Now today we're not doing it in VR because I want to actually play with some of the features. Uh, there's like an external cam now, and I want to just cause a whole bunch of chaos here in sandbox mode. So we can go in here and spawn ourselves a train. I, I want one of the biggest and baddest trains that we have because we're going to have some uh, potentially nuclear uh, cargo. Yo, yeah, this DEC. Six. I think I actually remember playing with this. Uh, oh my goodness, that is a beautiful. Honestly, I just wanted to hook two of these up together. Um, yeah, we'll see if we can run them. That would be kind of cool. So you're probably wondering, hey, what are you going to be carrying today? So that's a nuclear flask carrier. I'm hoping I can load up some cargo, like nuclear bombs on here. And you know what's safe near nuclear bombs? Uh, maybe some tanks. Not those tanks. These tanks. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a couple of those back. Okay, so we're gonna put some spent nuclear fuel in here. Oh my goodness. Also, there is one called classified. Um, maybe we'll check that out here in the future. Okay, what are some of my most flammable things? Uh, chemicals, gasoline, there we go. Put gasoline there, gasoline there, and gasoline there. All right, so those are all ready to go. Uh, we should probably get our train started up. So yeah, not gonna lie, there's like a really in-depth simulator here. Like this is pretty awesome. Also, is there a break on this last one? Gonna need to make sure when I slam these all together, they don't immediately explode. And the whole fact of uh, there needs to be a break on the uh, the rear car here. There should be. Okay, that's the handbrake. Um, good question is, is it engaged? <laughs> Uh, we're gonna hope that it is. Not gonna lie, the game looks a whole lot better now. They have new, like, weather effects. You can do stuff at night, be in storms. Uh, honestly, it's impressive what they've accomplished with this game. Okay, so we're gonna need to start this bad boy up, uh, on... There's a breaker box in here. I believe I remember how to do this. Isn't that what you want to hear from somebody that's about to handle nuclear waste? Okay, so that is good there. Boom, there we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our lights on real quick. And yeah, to start this bad boy up, we are going to go over into the side here. Okay, uh, I think we pull this up and on. Wait for it. There it goes. Uh, she is fired up. You know, now I don't feel like firing up the second one. So it's really easy in sandbox mode to just get rid of something. So we go clear and boom, we can remove that. So yeah, we can get this done in one train because I still have to hook everything up. Okay, let's see how uh, careful of a uh, train operator Komodo is. Learning this all on the fly again. All right, reverse through that way. Make sure brakes are... I think they need to come this way to release. Go ahead and sand it a little bit. Okay, so uh, dynamic brake. Oh, we don't need that. All right, so let's start backing up. The reverser's in reverse. Okay, so we're going to start banging into carts here. Oh, my goodness. Let's not do this so fast. Uh, all right, another cool thing they've added. Check this out. We have an actual, like, third-person camera. This is big because you can actually see... Uh, the whole yard here. Uh, we're gonna keep backing it up. We need to connect everything for our, uh, totally not flammable nuclear train. Uh, have we reached the end? I want to say we probably have. Oh, stuff's banging into each other. Okay, so we're good. All right, so brakes are on. All right, so... Actually, no, the brakes aren't on. We might want to turn those on. All right, so we need to connect these real quick. So yeah, check this out. Uh, oh... Oh, I think this goes up over here. Uh, you go... Oh, no, you go here. That tightens up there, I believe. Uh, I hope these stay together. Okay, hook those bad boys up together. Actually, the red goes with the red. There we go. Red with the red. I think this is when you want to connect two trains together. Okay, I think I got that right. All right, let's do this. Got to connect the others real quick. So, yeah, one more time. I'm just going to go yoink. Uh, hit that button there, connect these together. Okay, we're good. We got to release the brake on the last one, too. That's if it was even engaged. I don't know if I did that right. Okay, boom, and let's release this, uh, I think. Either that or we just now lock this. I, you know, we can legit, like, do jobs and stuff, but I'm honestly just having fun uh, playing around here. Getting to try out the different trains. So if you guys want to see more of this, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button. Let me know. All right, let's close this. It's a little noisy. All right, so we can sit down here. Now, of course, Komodo could try to go over proper protocols and all that other good stuff. 
not really something that I typically do, so uh, I don't play by no rules. All right, reverse your four. Let's go ahead and throttle up. I think all the brakes are released. It's going to take it a second here now that we're carrying some cargo. Uh, got the sander on. We uh, officially are moving. That's probably the quickest I've gotten a train moving here in the game. To be fair, we're in sandbox mode, so... Oh, uh, let's get a glorious look at this. Is it starting to rain? Oh, it's starting to rain. Nice. So we have some dynamic weather rolling in. But yeah, it looks like it's doing a decent job. Are any of the brakes applied here? Are we? I don't know if that's a thing or not. Oh, this is just wonderful. Okay, I might want to turn on those uh, windshield wipers. Uh, I mean, it's sprinkling. Uh, so we can still pop this open. We can hang our head out like a dog, sniffing those nuclear chemicals. Oh, geez. Uh, wait, which way are we going? I didn't even set the switch here. Well, I think it's fine. Guess we're going forward here. Probably should look at a map. I feel all the eyes of the train enthusiasts, like, bearing down on me going, Komodo, you didn't do something right here. I mean, it actually feels like everything's moving fairly smooth here. Oh, look at the little rain droplet effects. Nice. Okay, so here's the other third person view. This one actually locks uh, to, I'm assuming where the player is, or it might always uh, lock to the front of the train here. But what do you guys think's inside of this? I mean, it was some sort of like nuclear waste. And I'm assuming having it attached to fuel trailers, which potentially could explode, uh, might be a bit of a mistake. I, honestly, I don't even know where we're going. We could zoom, oh wow, you can zoom really far out now. Oh, we're heading to a bridge. All right, this ought to be safe. I gotta lie, if we crash, uh, there's like a new photo mode now. So if you hit it, it pauses the game and you can like check stuff out. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to get a nice photo of it. But I mean, to me, graphically, the game is just so much better and it just, Honestly, it handles better. Like, I actually played it in non-VR uh, not too long ago, uh, just in my free time, and I didn't enjoy it. Like, it looked kind of weird. But, yeah, it's definitely a, a much prettier game. All right, let's uh, see what this thing's got. Let's go a little more wide open here. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a climb here. Might need to turn the sander back on. Give a glorious toot of the horn. Yeah, buddy. On it wide open. <laughs> Uh, also, there's a little fan up here. There we go, just so you can uh, cool down. Is there any other areas we can go to? Can we go into the front? I kind of wish you could still, like, uh, use some more of the doors. Like, of course, you can go to the front there, but I think there's, like, a cabin or something in the front, or at least through that door. I could be wrong. Okay, here we go. Let's kick up that throttle a little more. Let's get a look at what we're dealing with. We're coming up to a bridge here. Uh-oh. Ooh, jeez. Okay, there's a switch. I don't know which way it's aimed. Uh, let's see. Uh, I want to go. I want to hit the bridge. Uh-oh, did I do it the wrong way? Oh, we're mid-switch here? Okay. Oh, we're good. Okay. Yeah, you're supposed to kind of, like, route out and see what's ahead. And Oh, here we go. Full speed ahead. Nothing bad can happen, right? I mean, to be fair, these aren't, like, necessarily sharp corners. Also, the rain is picking up a little bit. So, there is also a another neat feature about the, uh, the radio here in Free Roam. Uh, there is a damage or a derail button. So, you could derail... A part of the train. I was hoping that we're gonna do this naturally because I do see some curves coming up and I feel like uh, as long as we're going fast enough we'll die. Okay we are fly- oh is this a tunnel coming up? Oh I I think it- oh sweet it is. Hold on we gotta be in first person for this. And uh, I got all my lights on. There we go. Oh that is cool. Also the sound is amazing in the game. You can hear how it shifted. Oh let's open this up. Yeah, buddy, just stick her head out and grind it up against the tunnel. Oh, yeah, uh, Komodo's definitely having fun now. All right, I need a sharp corner. Like, I feel like we are picking up speed here. Um, definitely probably too much speed for certain areas of this crack. Uh, let's look, are we uh, are we on edge here? Um, there is definitely something glowing in the back of the train. Uh, oh, my goodness, here it goes. Oh, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's not good. Are those going to explode? Oh, they're exploding. Wait, what about the nuclear stuff? Uh, oh. Hey. Dude, they must have really had that sealed up. That was beautiful. Um, we have damage inside of the, the train. Can What's that sound? Okay. Honestly, one of the neatest features is the whole fact that the train's upside down and the rain is still dripping down the right way. 10 out of 10. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. So, can you not damage this thing? Also, ugh. That's glorious. Derailment. Um, do you think our train still works? There's a good chance it doesn't. Also, there's now a new funny fuzzy filter over this. I'm pretty sure that cracked open and, and I'm probably gonna grow an arm out my forehead. 
So we're gonna turn it up to full like thunderstorm wetness, yes. Okay, so it's gonna be a, a terrible storm. So we can actually set up a train here. So yeah, I can uh, have stuff ready to go as far as the train. Uh, we also uh, need to add a new car. Can I make this into one of our military things? I don't know if it's like the flatbed or what's gonna carry this. Guess we'll pick a couple different military ones. Military stakes. Also, I think you can do some passenger stuff on here too. And I don't like carrying your passengers uh, with your explodey bits. I'm honestly kind of curious what the limit is now as far as the train. Like, can we go ridiculous? Oh, ho, 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 beautiful. All right, where's our train? Oh, is this it? I think this is it. All right, so we got a little smaller train this time. Uh, the weather effects are very nice, not gonna lie. All right, so are we all hooked up, ready to go? I did spawn this in uh, as a complete train, so we're good. I think we just have to load up cargo on it. Honestly, I'm mesmerized by the uh, the lightning in the game. Oh, that's getting close. Okay, yeah, we might want to hurry up and get inside. Can I load up a tank? Uh, military supplies. I mean, that sounds good. Oh, where's classified? All right, classified can go on here. Can it go on that one? No. All right, so boom, classified. Not gonna lie, I was hoping for a UFO, but when it has that emblem on there, I mean, that's pretty good too. Okay, just loading up the others uh, with a couple things. What can I load up in this one? All right, well, we're putting some pipes on there. It's just gonna make it a little heavier. Can we go into that back cart? Dude, can I go inside of this? Honestly, that'd be kind of cool. I don't know if that's a feature or not. Please tell me it is. Can I Can I get inside? <gasps> Dude, okay, kind of looks like a haunted train car. Yo, it is kind of creepy in here. I almost could have swore I heard some footsteps. Okay, well, that's uh, definitely a neat feature. Okay, hey, been a while since we've started this one up. All right, so what are we dealing with here? This one, let's get the lights on first. Okay, we got a breaker back here. Electronics on, starter on. All right, where's the cab lights at? Boom, cab lights. Uh, wiper on. Uh, does it have several settings? Oh, it does. You can turn it up a little bit faster. Okay, there's the starter on this one. All right, so I think that is releasing the brakes on this thing. What is this thing? Oh, this is a cat fan. That's a, that's a cute little fan. All right, so let's go ahead and crank it up. So hold that down. Okay, it's fired. I don't know if any of the uh, the brakes are on uh, behind us. I'm going to assume they aren't. I actually like the uh, the visibility of this thing. All right, we're, uh, we're slowly getting there. Definitely doesn't feel as powerful of a train. Can we go all the way? There we go. We're going all the way throttle here. Um, uh, so, uh, track switcher. I don't know if I can get a hold of this in time. Uh, oh, too late. I guess we're going wherever it's going to take us here. I think we're going towards that bridge again. Yeah, I might have totally had the brakes engaged there. Uh, what's that sound? Hold on, keep the sand up. Uh, I'm trying to full throttle this bad boy. Is that on or off? That might have been on, too. All right, we are officially moving, Hans. Huh? Get a look at this one. Oh yes, that is uh, most excellent looking. So as far as some of the other items I have, I think I have a lighter. Uh, if I were to stand over one of those carts, would that be a bad idea? I don't even know if that's the thing. Can I open up one of those? Uh, <laughs> I kind of want to go see if I can twist a valve back there. That's fine. Um, that was the engine exploding in the train. Uh, that's normal. What the heck did it? Why did it blow out the windows? Uh, we got a bit of an emergency here. Um, uh, put the brakes on. Let's go ahead and throttle down. We might have to get a new train here. Uh, uh, let's go take a look here. Well, it's red. Um, it's not on fire, so we have that going for us. Should we spawn in another train? I feel like we took too much here. Let's go click and click. Uh, those aren't gonna roll, are they? I suppose they're fine. All right, so I want to spawn in a new train. Okay, if you can't succeed, you gotta you gotta do what works. I, I do want to try some other uh, trains out. Uh, oh, I need to turn on the breaker first. Also, the tutorial has popped back up. Yeah, I accidentally enabled those again. Um, and so it's gonna try to talk me through uh, like cranking this thing back up. All right, we're cranked up. So yeah, I really want to hit the derail button. I'm gonna do it on the bridge though because I think that would work out better. All right, we are uh, back in business. The weather actually cleared up, so it stays dynamic, which is kind of cool. Uh-oh, I saw something explode. Oh, okay, hon, we are going at too, uh, too fast of a speed. Did I not turn something on? Oops, I think this is supposed to be on. Okay, right, there we go. All right, so we're moving through the pass. We are coming up to our uh, favorite bridge, and we're going to send this cargo off it. Uh, wouldn't mind actually doing some uh, maybe a legit jobs here in the future, but really just going over a lot of the uh, the cool stuff that you can do here in this game now. Of course, Komodo likes destruction, so uh, I have a simple mind. It's fine. 
Shadows are open up there, huh? Let's get a little more throttle out of this bad boy. Don't look like we're overheating or anything. Oh, yes. Uh, a little more. Actually, a lot more. All the way. All right. Don't explode on me there. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe turn it down just a little bit. I want to get to the bridge. Uh-oh. What's that? What's that sound? Okay. I thought we were derailing there for a second. Okay. Enable damage. Uh, derail this vehicle. All right. Here we go. And... Woo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, it, oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. We should have jumped in there. Oh, let's go back out here. What does this look like? Oh, wow. It's going off both ends. Uh, yep. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay. Can we just resume from here? Oh, it wants me to resume from the inside. Okay. Let's not do that. Wait, what? Oh, that's new. Uh-oh. Oh, it's slowly. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Wait, the classified materials are now leaking. What does that mean? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Um, the nuclear stuff looks okay. <laughs> uh, oh, there goes more explosions. I wonder how big of a train we could do this with. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Uh, classified stuff is now leaking. How are we? Oh, maybe dead. Okay. Uh, yep. I think we just survived that. Uh, maybe. Okay, climb out. Okay. Dude, not gonna lie. Like, what kind of train game lets you do this? Like, this is so cool. Like, just the physics, the derailment. Like, I love that it's still, like, kind of hanging off the bridge. Can I actually, like, undo that up there? Oh, uh, and I wonder if I can unhook this. Uh, here. I'm gonna jump over. Oh, jeez. Uh, that wasn't wise. Okay, I'm gonna try to approach this from a different angle here. Oh, okay. Uh, can I... Okay, disconnect those. Uh, untie. Oh my goodness. Okay, yep, that's that's a thing. I can get up here. I mean, if we're being honest here, at least the passengers made it, right? Uh, undo this. Thank you for uh, enjoying the Burger Railroad and the potential uh, hazards that it uh, provides. And overall, I think we had a good day here.